We're getting a new look tonight at the vulnerable west end of Dauphin Island. Cristobal's pounding surf just doing a number on that sliver of sand there. Our brand new four wheel drive storm tracker truck capturing this exclusive video just a couple of hours ago. We are the only local station with a whole fleet of these vehicles all aimed at finding trouble spots for you. Meteorologist Jennifer Lambers was calling all the shots on that ride to the West End and Jennifer first time you've had to lock in that four wheel drive, huh? Yeah, Briar, and that is exactly light, right? This brand new technology exclusive to Fox 10 News helped bring an up close view of the high waters just along Dauphin Island. Tropical, tropical storm Cristobal brought high surf, strong winds and heavy rain to the island, which led to those flooding conditions and road hazards along Bienville Boulevard. The wind shifting southerly today also contributed to additional flooding in a lot of those spots. Currently, there is a checkpoint only advising vehicles equipped with four wheel drive abilities to drive down the road. So so we put our new addition to the storm tracker fleet to the test and checked out those conditions. Some areas were showing promise, but area other areas near Sahoy Street are still seeing that deep standing water. Dauphin Island Mayor Jeff Collier expressed concern over other cars avoiding this road to help speed up crews abilities to open the West End. He is hopeful, though, that by tomorrow we could see that road open to all vehicles. We'll continue to keep you updated here on Fox 10 News for when it does officially open. But I do know right now Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith is in studio with me tracking other conditions along the road right now. So 